Hey there. Almost a week around. I'm sorry I wasn't doing any logs. Uh, logs, updates. Yeah, it's a bit dark. I'll turn on the light. There we go. It's a bit better. Let's start with the most precious thing that happened to me. And these are the geese eggs. I currently have two. The third one is still in the nest. Uh, they buried it as far as I saw and the fourth one unfortunately the sheep the sheep uh, trampled it as you can see this is the wall I was doing so it's all mud and sticks I took out the the earth oven so there's a lot more space in here so me and the dog were here for five days sleeping in a row it was cozy nice and warm because of the oven there's potato cooked here and because there is no earth oven anymore uh i'm not coughing anymore as well because there there is a chimney so the chimney works great okay let's shut off the light oh there there are solar panels are right there and the solar charge controller. Uh, this is gonna be done tomorrow with the help of my neighbor. That's 160 watt, two times 80 watts uh, that he sold them to me. I'll talk about uh, them more later. Mm, should be enough for to sustain my cell phone and the one or two lights. And I have to say, this is such a good thing to have a a normal a normal fireplace i also put the doors on hinges so these hinges are from my uh another good friend who's actually a police officer and they're really old but they work really good um i'll redo them so i'll be shortening this log down here and then do a small section in here so that the hinge is gonna be inside and that they're gonna open but for now for now they work they work as much as I need them to work because uh, in the night when I have to go to the toilet and the dog also it's really hard to just grabbing the door putting on its side and then they usually fell and so on right let's go on so yeah i was so surprised because the geese are here for more than half a year and to finally get some eggs from them is just amazing so i'll also be putting them in the incubator later on when i have enough of them Come here, come. I haven't seen I haven't seen the uh, I haven't seen them breeding yet sheeps he's so nice look at him he just enjoys cuddling <laughs> so yeah, one of the eggs is still down here. Uh, it's in that area, it's buried on the ground. And the uh, rest, three of them, as I said, one of them broke. They start laying them down back here. Like right in that pit. And that's a problem. And the, the best thing about it is that I think it's not just the right geese, but also the two of the left ones are laying them. To the pig. Oh. She's hungry. And you're also. Oh yeah. Let's check the... Yeah. 
Let's check the uh, hens and how big of difference they made to the garden. As I said, they are now enclosed into the garden for 14 days. And that's all food scraps on the ground. And as you can see, th this line over here was also grass all the way back here, like this part of it. And it's been all trimmed down, cut down all the way around. They scratch the soil. And as, of course, when they are, when they're eating, they're also pooping. The egg production is, I would say, about the same as before, from two to three eggs per day. I think it's still a bit early. It's strange because in the middle of January the, there was up to six eggs per day, which is really strange. But I guess that's how it works. Chickens work in mysterious ways. Oh, there's already one in here. One's already here. I'll just leave it in till the midday. They go straight to work. I still have to burn that pile of uh, sticks. I was using them around the garden just for for beans and uh, green beans to be grow uh, that they use their wines on it. But now that I cleared it, because I will have to obviously I have to redig the soil. I'll be adding the uh, I'll be adding some more of pigs done to the soil because they're still here and they're gonna scratch it and it's gonna be all over the place evenly. I don't know if you can see the dog up there. I still don't have an acre him. And I have two new little chickens. If you remember when I said that I have a predator on my farm, that one of my small farm chickens was missing. Well, she wasn't. She relocated her nest. I don't know why, but she did it. And uh, two days ago I heard... I heard... Uh, I heard some little chicks making a sound and they were actually in this part of the of the barn i'll be doing steaks today for for lunch oh yeah the uh, the ducks are really they're reproducing a lot at the moment but i'm not sure when they're gonna start when they are starting to lay eggs a friend of mine said that when the day is gonna reach till like 7 p.m. They, they should start laying eggs, but not before. And today I'm gonna, I'm gonna start working on the chicken coop on this side over there. We'll see how much, and I have to still put a rotational device or something for my solar panels in here because that is south and so it's gonna be catching the sun since the 11 a.m. till about 3 p.m. it's not ideal but that's the best I can work with here because uh, these these pine trees over here are my neighbors, so yeah, I can't remove them, unfortunately. You got some chicken bones right there. And the last and not the least thing is that I'm going to be adding some fencing because this part left side of the road uh, was basically 
it was a shame to leave it outside the pasture. So there's another 100 square meters of pasture for my sheep. Uh, but I'm gonna be start adding a new better fence in this part because that's the walking path. There's a lot of people walking here by and they basically destroyed all this lawn here because everybody who comes here, he's standing there and feeding the sheep inside and they're trampling the, they're just trampling the, uh, the grass, which is a shame. So yeah, I'm extending my, my fence and with that, giving a little bit more food to my animals. That's it for it. I'll probably do a shot or two when I'm gonna be grilling steaks today. And the update on the chicken coop. Basically this, from this, it's gonna be a chicken coop there. We'll see, we'll see. Right? So we got a little bit of flam steak today. I think it's gonna be delicious. I'll show you what we did till now for the hen house. 